The Notes cork board is brand new to Save the Cat version 3. This is a cork board where you can attach all kinds of different files from pictures to uh, spreadsheets, PDFs, sound clips, video clips, all kinds of different files that you can then attach to characters and locations and scene cards. It's a great place to keep reference materials handy, images of characters, images of locations that you've found, all kinds of great information for developing and researching your story. You can also create random notes and attach them to the notes corkboard. Ideas that you have that you don't quite know what to do with yet, but you don't want to lose them. Now I'm going to go into full notes view so we can see this a little better. There we go. Now I'm also going to shrink the window a little bit to make a little bit of room for some other things so I can show you how this works. You can see I've got a couple of attachments already. I'll just move them around a little bit here and rearrange things. Now if you want to attach a file, all you have to do is copy and paste it or drag and drop it. I'm going to open up Windows Explorer. I've resized the window so it'll fit into our video view here. I've got a picture from Acapulco that I think would be a great location. I'm going to drag and drop it onto the noteboard and an attachment is created with the thumbnail of the image. I can type a title and then I can double click on the image if I want to see a bigger view of the image itself. I can resize the note, make the picture bigger, smaller and so on. If I double click it again returns to the thumbnail view where I can type more detailed information about the location. I've also got a PDF that I'm going to drag and drop and the title for this one is Save the Cat Strikes Back and in this case if I double click on the PDF I open the file in Adobe Reader and I can read my attachment. Now any files you attach you can double click on the icon to open it in its appropriate application. Or in the case of an image I can right click on the image and then select open image. Another way you can attach files besides dragging and dropping is copying and pasting. I have a browser open to the Save the Cat website. So I'm going to take the image of the Save the Cat Strikes Back book. I'm going to right click on it select copy from the menu, come over to my corkboard and right click on the corkboard and it creates a new attachment with the image of the Save the Cat Strikes Back book. Now you've probably guessed that this little indicator here is to color code the individual card. I'll click on that I can select one of up to ten different colors. So maybe you'll use a certain color to indicate pictures of characters or another color for pictures of locations or another color for background information. Then you can run a report of all of your general notes and attachments sorted by color or even for a selected color. Now in an earlier demonstration I showed you how to drag and drop these onto characters and locations and scene cards or the big scene card so I won't do that again but just remember if you want to move it around within the cork board use the left mouse button. If you want to move it off of the cork board onto a character or a location or a scene card, right click on the thumbtack and then drag it and drop it in the appropriate location. Now as I mentioned at the beginning of this demonstration, you can also create random note cards. The way you do that is by double clicking in an empty space on the cork board. So I'll just double click and a note card appears. Then I can type a title for the note and the note itself. So if you right click in this area of the note card you can change the font and text color of your note. Now if you're not a screenwriter and you don't want to use the software for creating a great screenplay, if nothing else you can use it as a great corkboard for attaching your files and notes and reminders. And that is the notes corkboard. <laughs>